Normally a coach does his job from the bench, but I guess Coach Barkell wanted a different point of view. Kelly Walsh and Cheyenne East playing in the Gold Bracket Championship game of the Casper Invitational. First game, East is on the right. Megan Snipes' kill is just inside the line to get the Lady Thunderbirds an early 2-1 lead. Lady Trojans come right back. Fallon Griffin spikes that ball to the ground the hard way, and the score is tied at four points apiece. This next highlight for KW is courtesy of the opposition. East sets it up, and Effie Oates knocks it down to give her team a 7-5 lead. Lady Thunderbirds would regroup. There was a very big hole on the other side of the floor, and Sarah Cardenas didn't have much difficulty finding a spot. That gets her team a point, and they're down 8-6. Time for a little defense. Shelby Mayer is 6 feet tall, and this kill attempt is just going to hit the wall. East takes the lead 9-8. These two teams just played each other a couple of days before this encounter, and Brianna Earl has the opposition figured out by now. Things are not to back up again at 9. Kelly Walsh is ranked number 1 in the 4A polls, and with kills like this from Griffin, it's easy to see why. It's 12-12. East was getting their points in as well. It just wasn't always as pretty. But in this game, it doesn't matter. Mayer adds to the cause offensively, and the score is tied up once again at 14. Then the Lady Thunderbirds decided to make a move. Annie Nelson with just a light touch to get the ball over the net. It got the job done, and her team wins the first game, 25-18. On to game two, Lady Trojans are on the near side. Earl finds the corner open on the far side and sends the ball of trouble to that spot. Both teams have one point each. Kelly Walsh needed someone else to do the dirty work. This time it's Maggie Butler, and this time the Butler did it. 6-3 KW. Who else have we not shown? How about Sky Gable? And the sky is falling. Last year's third place team is up by three. The host team had its own defense as well. It's Butler with the block on the volleyball court. She's given the opposition a clue not to try that again. This game was mostly dominated by the host team. Earl, that takes care of another two off of her list. KW wins 25-17 to tie the match at one game each. On to the third and deciding game. Kelly Walsh now on the right side. How many times is the Butler going to get away with it? It's 3-2 in favor of the Lady Trojans. Then it's Earl again. This kill should have left a dent in the floor. Oh well, it got the point and the host team was pulling away early. Finally it's Griffin serving up the ace in the east face. Kelly Walsh wins the third game in a route. 15-5 to take the championship 2-1.